Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new Tier 10 Royal Navy Aircraft Carrier HMS Malta. The Malta class aircraft carrier was a British large aircraft carrier design of World War II, of which four were ordered in 1943 for the Royal Navy. But however, due to changing tactical concepts based on American experience in the Pacific War, it led to repeated changes to the design, resulting in them not being completed before the end of the war. All four ships of the Malta class were cancelled at the end of the war in 1945, before they were laid down. Now Malta in World of Warships has a large number of aircraft in the squadron and attack flight compared to the researchable British aircraft carriers. Features of the ship are her dive bombers attacking in a horizontal flight and carrying AP bombs. And when it's released into the game, it will be available for coal. So let's take a closer look at the Malta stats, which are based on this exact combo of upgrades and captain skills. But this is what I'm using for this video. Air Groups Mod 1, Aircraft Engines Mod 1, Aerial Torpedoes Mod 1, Bombers Mod 2, Flight Control Mod 1, and Flight Control Mod 2. Moving to the Captain Skills, Air Supremacy, Engine Techie, Improved Engine Boost, Swift Fish, Improved Engines, Survivability Expert, Aircraft Armor, Enhanced Aircraft Armor, and finally Proximity Fuse. So, all the stats mentioned from this point on are based on this exact combination. So let's start with the armor layout. Four end plating of 21 millimeters. The lower part, upper part is 25. Hanger plating 21 millimeters. This armor belt is 25, and the main. Citadel armor is 102. Casemate of 25, 21, 21 hanger plating. And this rear aft end deck is 25. The main deck, the flight deck itself, is 102 millimeters. Two sections of 33. And the superstructure is 13 millimeters. We look at the internal armor 21 millimeters up at the wire chip the actual citadel itself is, is quite far above the waterline moving to the survivability 66,600 hit points and a torpedo protection damage reduction of 34 percent okay moving to the mainstay of any aircraft carrier the attack aircraft these are blackburn firebrands they get 24,400 hit points the base speed of 147 knots max speed boosted with up to 191 4 aircraft per attacking flight, 12 per squadron with 20 on deck. The aircraft preparation time is 58 seconds. Each aircraft fires 10 rockets. Maximum rocket, rocket damage of 2350. They can pen 28 millimeters of armor and have a 9% fire chance. here at equipment we can see the aircraft get engine cooling and a fighter consumable moving to the torpedo bombers these are also blackburn firebrands 
2500 hit points, base speed 146 knots, boosted to 184, 4 aircraft per attacking flight, 12 per squadron, same 20 on deck and the aircraft preparation time is the same of 58 seconds and they can be detected at 10 kilometers. Each aircraft carries one torpedo with a max damage of 5933, aerial torpedo speed of 39 knots, torpedo range of 2.4 kilometers, and a torpedo arming distance of 518 meters. We're going to the equipment again, we can see that the torpedo bombers get an engine cooling, they get a fighter consumable, and they also get a repair party. Moving to the AP dive bombers, also Blackburn Firebrands, they get 2,744 hit points, a base speed of 144 knots, boosted to 182, 5 aircraft per attacking flight, 15 per squadron with 25 aircraft on deck. And these have a very fast aircraft preparation time of only 46 seconds and the same detectability range of 10 kilometers. Each aircraft drops four bombs with a max alpha damage of 4,300. And quickly go to the dive bombers. They get an engine cooling consumable and a fighter aircraft or patrol fighters. Moving to the artillery. Malta gets eight of these twin mounted 113 millimeter guns, secondary secondary guns. They have a reload time of five seconds, a max firing range of five kilometers, firing high explosive shells with a max alpha damage of 1600, 7% fire chance. They can pen 19 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 746 meters per second. Moving to the AA defense, Malta gets nine of these sextuple turrets, 40 millimeter guns, 54 in total. The secondary battery, these eight twin mounted 113 millimeters, dual purpose, they also double up as AA mounts. Alter combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of 332. They can fire six shell explosions per flak salvo. Priority reinforcement is 35%, and they all have a max firing range of 5.8 kilometers. When it comes to maneuverability, we see Malta gets a base speed of 33.6. This can be improved to 35.3 with the Sierra Mike signal flag. Turning circle radius of 1,220 meters and a rudder shift time of 16.9 seconds. Now finally, concealment wise, now with this build remember, Malta will be detected at 15.2 kilometers and by enemy subs and aircraft at 12.2 kilometers. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little preview of the work in progress HMS Malta, this tier 10 Royal Navy aircraft carrier that is going to be released for coal once it comes out of testing. Now, if you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.